Ken Whiteley, and when I started recording my album, Long Time Traveling, I knew I wanted to include some Canadian content. My friend Beverly Robertson had always said, every child in Canada should know farewell to Nova Scotia. So I looked into that, and I, you know, I certainly remembered the song. Catherine McKinnon had sung it on the old 60s CBC show Sing Along Jubilee out of Halifax. And the great Canadian folklorist Helen Creighton, I know, had originally collected it back in the 1930s of several different versions in an area of Chesacook, uh, you know, about, I don't know, 50 kilometers, but at that time probably a much bigger distance seeming uh, from Halifax up the coast. And... Uh, It's often done as this kind of happy, sing-along, you know, upbeat kind of song. But when you look at the words, you know, the, you know, all nature seemed inclined to rest, but still there was no rest for me. And I also began to think about the African Nova Scotians and how they are so underrepresented in presentations of Nova Scotia. So I thought I was going to try this as sort of a bluesy version. And so I got my... uh, my national resophonic guitar. And I was thinking back also, you know, a few years ago, my wife Ellen and I had time to spend a bit of time in Nova Scotia and exploring some of those African Nova Scotian roots. We went to a fantastic Mother's Day service at St. Thomas Baptist Church in North Preston. We had a great, to- great talks with people at the, at the Black Cultural Center in Cherry Brook. And of course, the Africville Museum, which was built on the site of what had once been a very thriving uh, African Nova Scotian community in Halifax, and in 1968 was just kind of bulldozed down. And so, uh, so there I am with with you know farewell to Nova Scotia, and I, I knew I wanted to play it on the resophonic guitar and the slide guitar you know, which is what these are great for, designed in the, originally in the 1920s to be a louder acoustic guitar. But the, but the old blues men found they were just fantastic. You could take a, a metal slide and, and put it on the, on the strings and slide it and, and get those in-between notes. And... Of that tension that you hear in that song. And so I laid down the bed track on, on the slide guitar, and then uh, I added bass, played on the accordion, I added banjo, I took it back to church with the Hammond organ, and my son Ben Whiteley played drums on it. And you know, this song, the original verses are the drums of, I hear the drums of war, the captain calls, I must obey. And for my, uh, pacifist self, I had a a little bit of a hard time with uh, wrapping my head around that concept. Uh, And I thought of my own great-grandfather who left Ireland because he wouldn't obey the priests. And so in my version, he's leaving Nova Scotia because he won't go to war. And, And I put in a little quote from down by the riverside, you know, long have I sung, study war no more, so I must find another way. This song, I guess, it's it's time to take a bit of a stand for peace all over the world. Too many people are dying from armed conflict, and collectively, we have to find other ways to solve our problems, and we have huge problems to try and solve. You know, uh, climate change is a global challenge, and we need to act. So... The horrors of war, the, and the and they are horrible. We have to we have to challenge those as much as we can, and and celebrate beautiful places like Nova Scotia uh, in a song that can talk about working to try and make this world a better and safer place. So farewell to Nova Scotia, sea-bound coast. Let your mouth dark and dreary be. For when I'm far away on the briny 